Today we're reviewing the 4040 Reno from SaneSmart. This CNC router provides a large machining area at a comparatively low price point by utilizing a new belt-driven design. In this video, we will do some aggressive cuts and stress tests to see how this machine performs under load and explore any compromises that come with this belt-driven design. Assembling this machine was easy and straightforward and took me about an hour. The process is more involved than most pre-assembled machines, but it's a great opportunity to learn and have fun. When I turned the machine on, I noticed this high pitch hissing noise. I emailed SaneSmart customer support and got a quick response about how to fix the issue using a simple G-code command. As usual, awesome customer support from SaneSmart. With the machine set up, let's dive straight into testing it. The website claims that this CNC router has an accuracy of 0.1 millimeters in the X and Y directions. We'll test this claim by machining a square that's 40 millimeters wide in each dimension and 5 millimeters deep. Measuring with calipers, we see that unfortunately, this carving was not within the claim tolerance. It's about 0.15 millimeters undersized, which is pretty close. The z-axis was also about 0.15 millimeters away from the intended dimension. I think this error comes from two main places. First, there's a lack of rigidity. The gantry has some play in it due to the design using rollers and belts on aluminum rather than lead screws and linear rods. Second, the bed of the machine is a bit flexible because it's made out of MDF rather than aluminum. I think that the accuracy of this machine will depend a lot on how much force is involved in a given cutting operation. An engraving with a V-bit will likely reach the claimed accuracy, while a 6mm bit being pushed fairly fast, as shown in the previous example, will be less accurate. To continue testing the rigidity, I'm going to make pockets with a 6mm bit that gradually increase in single pass depth. This machine got to a depth of 0.3 inches in a single pass until I was concerned that the amount of chatter was going to damage something. I thought that the belt-driven design wouldn't be powerful enough, but it seems like the limit comes from the machine's rigidity rather than the drive design. I'm getting the feeling that this machine isn't intended for very aggressive cuts. Let's try making something that takes advantage of this machine's size. For a final project, we're going to carve this eagle into a large piece of plywood. This piece of plywood definitely won't fit on a 3018 CNC, but it easily fits on the 4040 Reno. Before engraving, I'll spray paint the plywood blue to add some contrast. Oops, uh, ran out of blue. Uh, we'll paint it black instead. After the paint dried, I secured it to the bed using the included clamps. For this project, I'm using a V-bit set to a total depth of 2 to 3 millimeters, done in two passes. The feed rate I used was 40 inches per minute. Vacuuming up the chips reveals the final engraving. If you were making this project for real, you probably should use something nicer than a scrap piece of pine. That would prevent splinters from tearing off in some places. Otherwise, the contrast looks great. It seems to me, on all of these hobbyist desktop size CNC routers, there's a trade-off between low cost, accuracy slash power, and size. You can really only pick two. This machine has sacrificed on the power to provide a large build area at a relatively low price point. It's perfect for those who are on a hobbyist budget, yet want to machine large projects made of soft materials like wood, plastic, and acrylic. However, if you're looking to machine harder materials like metals or remove a lot of material, you generally have two options. You can either get a smaller and more rigid machine at the same price point, like the 3020 Pro Max V2, or you can get a large machine that's rigid, powerful, and accurate, like the Prover XL 4030 V2, but it comes at a higher cost. The requirements of your project is really what will determine which of these machines is right for you. Also, if you're new to woodworking, make sure you have some kind of dust protection in place when working with any CNC router, SaneSmart offers both of these masks, which are meant to filter out dust and other airborne particles. A mask like this is especially important if you don't have an enclosure or dust removal system for your CNC. As always, if you learn something new or useful and want to subscribe, the button is right down there. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.